My name is Bill Trina. I'm Sakshi Sani. And we're here to talk about low impact development. Low impact development, or LID, is a way of managing stormwater as close to where it falls as possible. Some of the most uh, widely known low impact development facilities are permeable pavement, bioswales, and rain gardens. Climate change affects the size and type of rainfall events that we receive, which increases the risk of flooding, which damages homes, schools, roads, and other important parts of our cities. So currently our water infrastructure is designed using historic climate data. So what that means is we have designed our storm sewers a certain depth based on how much rain we've been getting. And uh, with climate change, we're observing that all the water cannot be contained in those storm sewers and we're getting a lot of uh, overland flooding and all the garbage and gunk like oil and grease that is being conveyed off your impervious surfaces into your ditches gets carried down to our rivers. So as our climate continues to change and we start to see more intense storms that create bigger and bigger risks of urban flooding with stormwater pollution coming off of parking lots and roads and so on, the use of LID becomes ever more important. We need to be able to capture that stormwater and soak as much of it into the ground as possible before it goes into our sewer systems and moves into our downstream river areas. Today we're standing at the Credit Valley Conservation's permeable pavement parking lot. And permeable pavement is a low impact development facility. It allows water to infiltrate into the ground versus an asphalt parking, which creates a lot of surface runoff. A rain garden is like something you'd put in your front lawn and it's used to capture the runoff coming from your driveway or your roof and give it a chance to soak into the ground. Whereas the bioswale is treating the runoff as it's moving off of your property down through other parts of your neighborhood or wherever. And it's trying to slow it down and infiltrate it and clean it and polish it before it gets to the river. So low impact development facilities are all um, engineered features and they're designed in a way where you have a filter media and you have storage media. The filter media is essentially soils and the storage media consists of like gravel and stones. So we have 11 LID sites in our watershed that we're monitoring and collecting a lot of data on how these facilities can alleviate uh, the stress on our aging stormwater infrastructure, how we have reduced the quantity of runoff and the amount of pollutants that will reach the rivers downstream. The reason why I really care about what I do is because, you know, it's not just because it's cool technical work and, oh, we're going to design these engineered media and clean the stormwater, but it's because really what we do here helps to protect the environment over there. Like the Credit River, through the use of LID, can receive clean water slowly over a long period of time instead of being subject to these really rapid pulses of dirty stormwater that wash off of urban areas. What is so amazing about working at the Credit Valley Conservation with low impact development is monitoring innovative of stormwater facilities and see what wonderful difference it has to make to our environment. 